Hi, welcome to Cheer Yoga. I'm Kasha and this is a short-ish session that includes uh, or focuses on strength and balance exercise as part of the Live Stronger for Longer movement for older adults. So grab yourself a sturdy chair, sitting up nice and tall in the chair and we shall get going. So let's just uh, arrive in the moment. I invite you to close your eyes down, settle your shoulders, Feel your spine nice and tall, just sitting upright with a lovely open chest. Relax the arms and your hands. And staying in that upright position, just feel the breath moving in and out of your nostrils. So as we are starting to give the breath some awareness, often that can help slow things down without even having to do much. Just feel the breath move. And invite it a little bit deeper so you can feel some movement of your breath deeper in your torso. Knowing that every time you breathe in, your diaphragm moves and your lungs expand, Things move around on your insides to accommodate for that space. You're kind of shape shifting on the inside each time you breathe in and out. Just, just take a couple more nice focused breaths here. Go at my pace if you want. So breathe out first. Breathe in for three, two, feel yourself right up to one. Exhale, three, two, one. Breathing in and breathing out through the nose. One more, just like that. Maybe you can get even fuller, fuller as you breathe in. Expand the chest and breathing out. And as you come to the end of your exhale, open your eyes and let's start moving the body. So lift. And lower your feet. I'm just going to bring my feet a little bit further forward so there's space to move that. So if you've got the heels on the ground to start with, just lift and lower the front of your feet. And you can spread the toes as you do that. Have a little look-see. And I'm going in bare feet here, that's how I like to do my yoga. But if you prefer shoes, especially for the standing poses, if you need that for stability, that's okay. Just see if you can keep moving your feet. All right, let's try lift and lower the heels, up and down. And we're warming up through the ankles and the lower legs. We'll slowly start progressing up through the body. So let's come into the knees now. Right leg straightens, sitting up straight and tall. And then the left leg straightens. All right, so just do one leg at a time. It doesn't really matter if you're right or left, just one and then the other. As far as you can manage. As well as warming up into the knees now, you feel hopefully some of your leg muscles doing some nice strong work to get that going. One more on each side. And then a good breath as you do this last one. And we'll move the movement from your hips, into, uh, so your knees into your hips, wrong way around. Hands on your hips and the cat cow pose is arching the back. So we. Bring the hips forward, feel your bottom stick back and lift your chest at the same time. And then do the opposite. So your hip bones go backwards, tuck your tail underneath you and bring your head forward. And we'll do that again now. If it's useful for you, keep your hands on your hips so you can feel that. I like to have my hands on my thighs here for support. And then try and layer in the breath as well. So inhale, sitting nice and tall, lift your chest. Nice and slow, take it back, pull the ribs back, tuck your bottom underneath you, round your back. Couple more. You might need to scooch forward on your chair a little bit to make space for your bottom to move, depending on what kind of chair you've got, how long your legs are. One more time. Nice one, and then sit up nice and tall. Roll your shoulders back and slide them down. 
beautiful and let's move the hands now so opening the fingers on one hand and close the fist on the other and then change so alternating now you can just keep going with that stretching out the hands if you want to add a challenge see if you can add in the toes of the opposite foot at the same time sometimes have trouble talking and doing that at the same time the things are going yes they're going yes <laughs> so right hand left foot fingers extend toes extend and so on perhaps you could go a little faster take a really nice good breath in extend the arms higher exhale bringing the hands back down <laughs> And if that didn't quite work out how you thought it might with the coordination, just have a little smile. No worries. Well done. Swirl your wrist around. Let's come on up to standing now. So to sit to stand pose. So feet flat on the floor, staying close to the back of your chair. Hands down to begin with. You might use them on the arms of your chair. So pushing down into the heels. Lift the head high. Stay looking forward. And slowly push into the feet to stand up. Great, let's go back down again. So push your bottom towards the back of the chair. Keep your head up. Feel with the back of your legs and your hands the chair and slowly sit down. And let's try doing that again. Push strong into the feet coming up. Some of you might be able to do that with your hands on your legs or in front of you if you're strong enough. But don't be shy about holding on to the chair if you need to. The sit to stand exercise is really good for building the strength in your legs. And keep that ability to get in and out of the chair, of the car, and so on. Let's do one more fully up and down. See if you can go a little bit slower on the way back down. Down, 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 down. Pause if you can. If you're sitting down already, that's all right. Push the bottom further back and sit slowly up for the last one. Hands hold on if you need. Lift your chest. Slowly straighten the legs and come to standing nice and steady. Well done. So I'm going to turn my chair around now so you can see me doing these ones side on standing exercises. If you're just standing front onto the camera, that's fine. So long as you've got something you can hold on to as you need for balance support. So feet about hip width apart, spread the toes a bit and stand quite tall. And just see if you can do that. The hands not holding on to the chair. Pretty good. Okay, now hold the chair again to begin with and go back into what we call the chair pose, which is very similar to that sit to stand you just did. So sink your bottom backwards. That might be enough. Some of you might go a little bit lower, maybe a bit lower. So just find where you think you can hold for a bit because we're going to hold this. And if all is going well for you, maybe you can reach the hands forward across them across the chest or if you want a little bit more again try extending them up in the air so long as that doesn't give your back any grief yeah and perhaps you can go a little bit lower and at any stage you need to with any of the exercises if it gets too much for you just finish earlier and or hold on to the chair okay let's try one more really good breath in and a breath out and slowly and gracefully come out of that chair exercise. Well done. Shake your legs out a bit. Beautiful. Okay, let's do a balance pose now. So standing flat on the floor, we're going to try the tree pose. So most of your weight on this leg, the left leg. And let your right leg just come off the heel if you can. Hold the chair if you need. And try and stand really tall. So in this tree pose, we imagine that one leg you're standing with most of the weight on is like a tree trunk. And if you can manage a little bit more, the other leg is a bit more like a branch, so it supports on the trunk of the tree rather than the floor. If you get a little bit too wobbly or it doesn't agree with your hips, just put your foot down a little bit lower, okay? Those of you who've done this before, or if you've got your balance pretty well, perhaps you bring one hand in front of your chest maybe even two gazing at something on the wall in front of you and let's see if we can stay here for a couple more breaths keep pushing the foot deep into the floor and lift tall through the top of your head 
you would still feel your torso move as you breathe, feel the ribs expand. Right, okay, slowly come out of that tree pose, stand back onto both feet again. Well done, hold the chair as you need. And let's try the other side. So sometimes it helps to have a look down at that foot you're standing on. So toes are spread a little bit and the weight is in the front and the back of the foot as you lighten up on the other side. A little bit of a turn out with the knee. Everyone's hips will be a little bit different there. Some people are comfortable going a bit wider. Stand a bit taller, really push that foot into the floor. Okay, and then if that feels okay, rather than the ball of the foot on the floor, maybe it comes up your leg. Most of you probably have it on the floor. Perhaps one or both hands into your chest. I'm going to stay with my hand down this time. Open chest, long body. Almost feel like your hips are hugging inwards. So the legs pull in and up to grow nice and tall and keep your balance. Keeping your eyes still on one thing. And as you've got our final little bit in this pose, just check in. See if perhaps you're holding extra tension in around your shoulders. Could you release some of that? What about your neck? Maybe you're even trying to hold yourself up with a strong face. Can you relax your facial muscles a bit? That's pretty common. <laughs> okay, one more big breath here. And if you had your hands in the air, bring them down to the chair or your hips. Release the legs, stand down nice and steady. Well done. Excellent. All right, so that's our tree pose. We'll try one more balance pose here. First of all, again, starting with your feet together, and we'll move towards the tandem poses. So feet are side by side, in case you can't see my feet, but like that. Legs really strongly pulling inwards, like you're almost creating one leg. Okay, see if you can bring your hands away from the chair. And if you sense you're a bit wobbly, keep one hand on the chair or even both of them. Maybe you can bring one hand up, maybe even both. Just see how your balance is going as you do this. Really moving mindfully, feeling what's going along as you go. Okay, so this basic position here with the feet together, if that's already a bit wobbly for you, maybe you stay there. Those of you who want a bit more come into the semi-tandem, which means the feet stagger, one partly in front of the other. Or if you've done this before and you know you're comfortable in the full tandem, big toe and heel of the other foot, one in front of the other. Okay, I'm going to go with the semi. Stay close to the chair and start holding on to it as you get nice and tall. If it feels okay, let go. That's you feeling the weight on both feet. Do you feel that? Nice one. And then if you want to challenge this time, reaching your arms up into the air, or you might just have one arm just in front of you rather than over this time. And then twist a little bit towards your left. Maybe just one arm, maybe both. Come back to the middle. If you move your head as well, that's going to make it extra hard. So maybe you keep your head forward and just move the arm and the shoulders a bit. And come around and we'll do that again on each side so you might be holding on to the chair just to one side and come back little weenie twist to the other side and come back great how's that go on that leg let's try the other side so splits so if you did the tandem before maybe you're doing a tandem the semi or even with feet together whatever is a little bit challenging for you for your balance spread your toes feel the weight in the right and the left foot and stand a little bit taller, soften the shoulders down. Holding the chair if you need. All right, and then twisting one way, back to the front. So mostly twisting the shoulders here, a little bit in the ribs, maybe your hips move a little bit. Make sure that feels okay in your back. And then the other way again, perhaps this time you use your arms to twist around back to the middle and as you twist you might even bend your knees a little bit just don't try and do everything at once if you're new at this or you feel a bit wobbly slowly building up with your balance and bring the hands down well done all right 
let's stand here nice and steady and just let our weight recalibrate on both feet so feel yourself pretty steady after those balance exercises good okay nice big breath in and out hold the chair as you need and we'll take a couple of calf raises so let's bring the weight slightly forward to the front of the feet and see if you can get your heels off the ground i'll just go side on so it might look something like this side on lifting the heels and lowering try to lift and lower again but really nice and steady feel yourself coming up and slowly coming down so back so just getting used to that feeling in the movement and then we'll see if we can come up and hold it on this one keep moving if you need to if you can't hold it perhaps you can let go with one hand or just have a couple of fingers on the chair just progressively bring them off if you think that feels safe you're looking forward beautiful big full breath in and tail relax the shoulders a bit more stay up there for one more breath if you want otherwise slowly coming down a bit of a bend in the knees good job okay let's take a stretch now i'm going to bring my chair forward so you can see me in the video now feet back about hip width apart hands or wrists over the top of the chair and see how you go with a bit of bend in the knees and then your chest forward so you're trying to get a pretty flat back here so maybe your head is in line with your arms some of you might be able to do this with straight legs adjust the feet moving forward or back as you need but feel quite steady a bit of a stretch in the back of your legs a really long feeling from your arms through your shoulders to your hips just keep sinking the chest down and we'll take one more breath here Good work. Feel really strong around your middle, so strong in the belly and the back here. Bend the knees a little bit and lift your head up and slowly step the feet back and then we'll walk back up to standing. Ooh, nice work. Okay, now you can stay standing for the next one. We're going to take a leg extension or a front leg raise, which is a better name for it. I'm going to sit down and do mine, so stay standing if you want. Otherwise, join me seated in the chair. Check I'm still in the video. I think that's me. <laughs> Neat. Okay. Now I was supposed to do a sit and stand to get down, and I forgot that. So let's do it again together. If you're still standing, you can pop in a couple now. Otherwise, taking one to sit and stand, and slowly push your bottom back into the chair again. That cow is a really good idea to practice during the day. Every time you sit and stand up and out of a chair. To use your strong leg muscles last one coming down and pause fantastic okay so keeping this lovely upright feeling in your chest and nice and strong through your middle we'll do those leg extensions and you might need to be a little bit further forward on the chair here maybe holding on to it okay so leg straight out in front sitting nice and tall we're going to lift the leg up straight and slowly lower it down and here we go again coming up and we'll try and hold it for a bit this time on the same leg and slowly coming down good right let's bring the leg up see if you can take a really good breath in there stay there while you breathe out and relax the leg breathing in bring the leg up on an exhale Stay there and breathe in. Staying a bit longer this time, breathe out and we'll see if we can take another breath. If you can hold the leg there, there's a little bit of the shapes, but it's not really hurting. So I'm able to stay there. If it's too much for you, just bring your leg down. Now you're still breathing. This is the last breath on the side. And slowly woo, lower the leg down the leg a rest well done and let's get ready on the other side so straighten the leg out sitting quite tall strong through your middle 
soften the foot and then slowly lift the leg into the air and then slowly lower it down just getting a feel for it on the side bring the leg up breathe in and out slowly bring down hopefully you're doing the other leg yeah don't do the same leg twice all right here we go again slowly up take a good full breath in really strong through the thigh and slowly letting the leg come down good work and here we go for a bit longer this time so bring it on up breathing in breathing out and you just keep the breath flowing what works for you if you notice you're going short little shallow breaths then maybe lower the leg if you can't breathe well if you notice you are holding your leg up by your forehead perhaps you can soften and relax it a bit one more big breath in and slowly let the leg come down great thank you leg excellent well done okay so sitting up nice and tall now we'll take a little side stretch you can do it standing if you're still standing otherwise <clears throat> move back in your chair if you're sitting and take one arm up in the air you will look at that hand if you can and then stretch it right up to the ceiling feel a really good stretch from your hip right up through that side of the body to the hand and if you want a little bit more maybe stretch over holding on to the chair for support Take a really good breath into that right side of your rib cage if you've got the right arm up. And then breathe it out and let the arm relax down. And then slowly try on the other side, stretch the arm into the air. If your neck is okay with this, have a look at that arm and see if you can get it a little bit higher. Good work. You feel the reach from the ribs, the armpit, the elbow and the wrist. Go a little bit further over the side if you want. Get your neck in a happy position and take a good juicy breath through the left side of your ribs and knee. And slowly bring all of that down. Well done everyone. Roll your shoulders back and down. So if you're still standing, Come to sitting now through the sit and stand, so you've used your leg muscles, and join us for a breathing exercise and a short little relax, okay? So <clears throat> we'll move our hands with this one, so have a look first if you like. So hands start in your lap. When you breathe in, elbows wide, hands coming up, then you reach your arms up over your head and they kind of open out a little bit, spur out and out. And then you slowly bring them back down you feel the palms here kind of scan the body on the way down until they rest in your lap again so i'm just going to keep going now you are welcome to close your eyes which is a good way to help us focus if you feel comfortable with it and the exhales come as the hands come back down now if this is ever too slow or too fast for you just go at your own pace we're trying to nice stretch out the breath a little bit but without making it uncomfortable long full inhale and a little pause and as you exhale you're feeling that sensitivity in your hands we're starting to turn inwards a little bit more now then we're near the end of the session Try and tune into some of these subtleties of smaller movements and feelings. And exhale as your hands come down, your shoulders relax. Do a couple more on your own. and stay focused on what you're doing here and I'm just going to do one more and then I'll rest my arms 
you may be up to maybe you can do one more as well and when you do rest your hands in your lap now just relax the breathing and let it find its own breath maybe you want to for these last minute or two just relax back in the chair or relax your legs out a little bit more get comfy and let your body take as much rest as possible so you're really consciously allowing your body to relax your breath to settle feel your body nice and melty around the chair Check that your feet are relaxed as possible. How about your legs? If you asked, you think they could relax a bit more. I'm not having to hold you up now. Feel your belly rise and fall as you breathe. Your shoulders relax arms heavy, soften your face, just have that experience here, give your whole body permission to rest. Is there any way you sense you could relax a little bit more? So perhaps you're still holding on. See if you can gently release a bit more. close what poor bell marks the end of our short chi yoga practice today so we'll just take a wee moment here and you bring yourself back up to sitting upright and notice how you feel if it's a bit of a shoulder roll and wriggle and some movement gently back into the body And let's finish with the hands together. Give them a gentle rub together. Take a nice big breath in. And as you exhale, pop your hands across your heart space over your chest. Harion Patsat. Much love, everybody. That marks the end of our session. Have a great day. Thank you.